Hello everybody. Well, it's another drawing video with the magnificent one here. So today we're going to take on that sexy space gal, Princess Leia. So there's that iconic image of her in a bikini sitting on Jabba the Hutt's lap. Well, here she is shooting a pistol. So what I did here is I started off by getting a little bit of perspective because this is going to be in three dimensions and that her hands are going to be in front of her feet. And then I actually decided to add the blaster. I would have initially made the image a little bit smaller and started drawing like it at the beginning, but then I figured it's digital so I could just draw the image of her body and then zoom out a little bit. So this pose was inspired by actually seeing a girl do a little bit of yoga in front of me. And then I thought to myself, well, you know what? That is a sexy pose. So let's put a bikini on it and let's put it in space. And let's use somebody who's very iconic. Somebody was requesting for me to draw a little bit of Star Wars. And this is what came to mind. So two types of people, people who love my artwork, think it's beautiful to have beautiful women on there. And then the other type think that I'm just a misogynist pig who draws sexified girls. I'm probably a mixture of both, but I will tell you most of my commissions and most of my images are requested by women themselves, especially cosplayers. So there's that. Anyhow, so as I get the uh, the image down, when it comes to three dimensionality, the key to that is foreshortening and making sure the things are laid on top of each other. So if you look at this, for example, on the left side of the image, which is her right leg, there's a layer between the leg itself, then the shoulders, then the head, and then the arms. So that ensures that you have one layer on top of the other, giving it a three-dimensional look. The other thing about this is one, what you see that perspective line is because, again, I wanted to have a little bit of perspective. So on the ground, the hands are going to be in front of the feet, and it's angled off, so I got to make sure that I have a shadow that's going to match. So you'll see the outline of the shadow being produced right now. From there, um, I did focus on the hair a little bit. So the bikini itself is interesting. So I tried to do this by memory, but then I, I, at a certain point I was like, I actually don't remember seeing, um, how should I put this politely? I don't remember seeing her ass too much in the, the actual um, movie. So I had to Google images on the side. So I looked inside and got a couple of different versions because what I realized is what's in the movie versus what they sell as cosplay costumes sometimes don't match up. And ran into something similar with the boots as well. So I did remember from memory that there was kind of a loop that happened at the side, but then um, I adjusted that as we went on and um, fixed the details there. So going forward, again, had to kind of Google image the texture of the bikini top as well, because there's some loop-de-loops there with the gold. And then I remember that she does have something that happened in her arm. I actually remembered it being flat, so I drew it first that way, but then it's three coils, these like snake-like coils there. So even though she was a slave, she was a slave that they put a lot of effort in every day to dress up into this uh, very fancy bikini. So one thing that's really cool is just the cloth that kind of lies over her behind in the front. I think it gives it a little bit of a texture and so it, it's pretty nice to see that as it lays across her buttocks area. And then shadows, man. I love shadows. The more blacks you can put inside of an image, the more it pops. So I started putting that in the boots. I started putting it in the back. I put that in the hair. I put as much shadows as you could possibly put into an image of a sexy girl bending over shooting a blaster. Uh, the other thing about this too is her face. So I tried to kind of capture the face of how Princess Leia actually looks like. I think I got about 80% there. And what I say about that is, um, yeah, it's it's not quite exact, but I, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a photo tracer. So if I wanted to, I could probably find the picture and traced it. What I was doing is I was kind of looking at uh, Carrie Fisher's images from a couple of different angles. There wasn't really an angle to match this exactly with her smiling, looking up like that. So I extrapolated how I think that face would look like. So that took a little bit of effort my part, a little bit of thinking. Not sure if I got it 100%, like I said, I'm probably about 80, 85% there. So the blaster, this is the blaster that she does use in the films, though she does use it at a different time. What's interesting in the back there, you'll see a sketch of an outline of a figure. What that was gonna be was that was gonna be Han Solo, like walking by and then, you know, snagging a little bit of peek of uh, what was going on in front of him. But that I decided, that would probably split the focus of the image. I just wanted to have her as the center image itself. So I got rid of him. Bye bye, Hans. Uh, you got killed off in, uh, in the, the sequels and now you get killed off in this image too. Luck just isn't going your way. But in any case, um, 
what I started doing now is just kind of doing all the fine details. So my process is pretty simple. As you can tell, I try to just outline the uh, the exact um, poses and the images that way. And then what I do is I just kind of go layer by layer, adding a little bit of detail, adding on, erasing the mistakes, adding on, erasing the mistakes. I do that at a kind of a big level and I get down to a smaller level and I do it for each one of those little details as well. And then the end result is a picture that looks somewhat decent and hopefully isn't uh, too unpleasing to the eye. And in fact, I would hope that people like the way it looks. So then I decide to do something in the background and so, um, it's a desert planet, so initially I just put some mountains there. That was more of an image placeholder as I started doing some of the coloring work. As I do the flats, I, I did a, a darker skin tone because it's a desert planet. Didn't think it actually looked right, but uh, as I started adding other things in, it did kind of seem to uh, work itself out. I really, really like that red that came out, that kind of dark, uh, blood-like, baroque red that pops there. Um, initially, too, what you'll see here is I was going to make the face a, a lighter color than the rest of her body. The idea being that it's closer to the uh, camera, as you would see. Um, but then I kind of switched back and then added on um, the uh, initial coloring that was a little bit different. So anyhow, that's how it looks like. Um, airbrush is kind of the sand behind it. Uh, it took a long time trying to just write the word princess. I couldn't get the style down correctly. So you'll see my struggles with that. Um, eventually I did get it down and I had to go back over and over to make it look a little bit smoother. Hey, I am not a letterer, ladies and gentlemen. I just draw draw um, sexy gals and uh, big jack dudes and monsters and things like that. So anyhow, there you have it. There is the image of Princess Leia in the desert in her bikini with a blaster. Hey, tell me how you guys like it. And you know what? If you like these, this kind of stuff, you like these illustration videos and you want to see more of them, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to. You know, if you, you got other stuff to do, you can click on other things. Not going to hurt my feelings. You just keep on trucking and... Uh, do what you gotta do but it would be nice if you could just take one second and hit that subscribe button in any case thank you for watching this illustration video of princess leia thank you kindly bye